So Leela Travis, you recently joined Thinkbox TV. Could you maybe just tell us a little bit about the role of Thinkbox in the UK? Yes, so we are the marketing body for commercial television in the UK and our aim really is to help advertisers get the best use out of today's TV. So we um, also commission a lot of research, so we work with the likes of Ubiquity and PwC. Um, and again, all of that research really just helps emphasise the point that TV is still a really effective medium for advertisers. And what kind of questions are clients asking you about the role of TV in the overall advertising mix? We have a lot, actually, on a week-by-week on -week basis, but I think the most common questions are, does TV work? and how should we be using TV in this modern age and um, with the penetration of new devices. Uh, there's, a lot, there's a misconception that actually everybody is now watching television uh, on demand and actually on demand still only accounts for about 1.5% of total television viewing. So we have a role to play in proving that actually the majority of viewing is still on TV and not to worry too much about uh, you know, consumers changing behaviour. But digital devices are having an impact on how we consume TV. What are the kind of changes you're observing at the moment? Yeah, I think where we're really seeing um, the differences, which is positive for TV, is in multi-screening. So that is people watching television whilst uh, you know, using a secondary device. Um, sometimes they're actually using, we, the reason we call it multi-screening is because actually sometimes people have three devices. So they might have their laptop, their smartphone and be watching the television. And uh, that's you know, a very positive thing for TV because if people have got their device in front of them whilst they're watching their content, they can then talk to other people about that content or potentially, you know, now TV, well not potentially, it definitely is a point of sale medium. So it presents a great opportunity for advertisers. Are you optimistic about the people working in the industry? I mean, what makes great TV planning? I think um, great insight, so a good understanding of your clients business and their challenges and their objectives I think that's absolutely crucial um, and I would say also collaboration and that is collaboration with all of the different agencies but also then within the agencies with all the different specialist teams um, so not getting um, stuck at, you know working in silos I think it's really important to be collaborative but also um, just make sure that your media is integrated and understand the role of you know different media I have to ask you about something I heard you say in your talk. You mentioned that people who work in advertising are abnormal and in fact you had data to back that up. Can you perhaps tell me a little bit more about why we're so abnormal? <laughs> Well, so last year we did our annual TV Nation uh, research, um, but the difference last year um, from previous years is that we wanted to hold a mirror up to our industry and we wanted to look at the differences and similarities between ad people and then the rest of the nation. And the reason we did this was because we are supposed to be the experts, we are supposed to understand people and their behaviours, and we just wanted to see you know how well we're actually doing and uh, we worked with Ipsos Mori and um, we did a, a survey of both ad people and and our TV nation sample and out of that um, you know came some actually I guess surprising um, but also some quite worrying uh, figures and particularly how how much we underestimate the time spent watching television and how much we overestimate the time we spend online and I think there's a danger in our industry of using ourselves as a sample of one because maybe you know we have access to so many different devices and maybe we have longer commutes and we are you know hopeless social media addicts so we assume that the rest of the country are as well. You also spoke about how we are entering this third golden age of television what excites you most about the future of television? I think the quality of the actual set itself. So they are just getting bigger and brighter and better. And I think also it's about the content. So, you know, there is just so much wonderful content out there. Game of Thrones is one of my favourites, um, but also you have Boardwalk Empire and um, ITV last year aired um, Broadchurch which is coming back this year and I just can't wait I thought it was absolutely fantastic 
and it was shot beautifully. So there's all this wonderful content that we can now watch in HD on our beautiful um, TV sets. Um, but I think what also excites me is the fact that all this emerging technology is just bringing people closer to TV. So, you know, a few years ago, um, you know, TV was dead and we hear that every year. There's always something that's going to kill TV. It used to be the DTRs, but that hasn't happened. And a few years ago, you know, it was um, the fact that, you know, digital and new devices would take people away from TV. But all they're actually doing is bringing people closer and um, allowing people to interact with the TV screen. So it's a very exciting time for new people coming into the industry. I think it's really important to support those new entrants. What is the best career advice you've ever received? Again, I've been given, given a few um, pieces of advice, but the thing that really sticks in my mind, um, I was told that um, you should always be bold and be brave because what's the worst that can happen? We're not in the industry of uh, saving lives, although arguably advertising can, if you look at the Bruchart Foundation campaign, um, but generally it's not life or death. So don't be afraid and uh, you know, be brave. And, uh, you know, and I think that was, it was a great piece of advice. And um, my piece of advice to you know, generations below me would be, you know, there's, there's three things I think that, that I live by is to be punctual, be professional but, and be passionate. And, uh, and I think if you live by that, then you'll always succeed. Bold and brave, that's great advice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much.